Всем привет and welcome to the next solution, this time of the CrackMe number 4 by Phantom from the website crackmes.de. If you missed previous ones, look at my YouTube channel. As always, all the additional material is in the links below the video. Va bene, let's see the test. Find a valid serial for your nickname, patch the CrackMe to accept any input as valid serial, use any tools at your disposal, like soft eyes, those are irrelevant today, use only debugger or IDA Pro or Win debugger for that, do not tamper with resources, we will not, and bonus, write a keygen to produce a valid serial given the user's name. Ok, we can solve this crack in two ways. First is to really do bit hack and circumvent the checking function completely, but we've done it before in the previous three crack -mes. So not to bore us, I'll just mention how to do it in code. And the second way I'm going to go here is to reverse engineer the key producing algo and write key generator. The CrackMe author allows to use any debugger to make it easier, but we are not looking for the easy way, right? So we'll do it completely in the hex editor, few in this case. First, let's run the program and see how it behaves. It asks for a username and a key then does the check. Ok, let's open it in Hue, go to the entry point. One of the necessary skills in reverse engineering is knowledge of the underlying operating systems and their exposed services. In Windows, its system calls are exposed via Windows API functions. When you know what function does what, you can pay attention to the interesting ones and skip the rest. These two are just setup functions of no interest to us. The real code starts with this call, so let's follow it. Here as well some more GUI and program window setup functions, then some more. Let's scroll down till we find these two interesting function calls to get dialog item text A. This function is used to get text input from a user using a dialog box. If we were doing it in debugger, we would set a breakpoint on call to this function as a starting point of our investigation. These two calls take text input from a user, put pointers to it on the stack and call this function at offset 12F9. As you see, for convenience I put comments beforehand, actually for the video in the Hue tutorial series. Now if you look a bit below, after return from this unknown yet function, here happens a compare with zero operation at offset 123B, which if successful falls to wrong serial message and if not gives the success message. So basically to bypass the serial checking algorithm, we can just bit hack it by changing jump, jump if zero to say jump if not zero and it would work. But we can do much better than that, so let's follow the call to the unknown checking function. Here first four instructions is usual function entrance prologue, then two instructions LEA load effective address, load into two registers ESI and EDI addresses of two global variables, as we can judge by their location offsets, they start at 3000 hexadecimal and if we take a look at the headers at 3000 RVA offsets, starts data section holding the global variables. Next two XOR opcodes just set registers to zero. Here the constant value of 1a is moved to bl, low bits of the ebx register. Next is compare with, with zero operation, usually esi and edi are used accordingly as source and destination for strings. We can assume for now that comparing with zero looks for the end of string value of zero, which is quite logical, as we are not limited in the length of the username that we can enter, so program has to find it on the run in some way. If zero is found, jump over here where if we look a few upcodes below, we find the string comparison function LSTRCMPA by Windows, which returns zero if two strings are equal. 
the return value is compared with zero and if equal jump to offset one three four c by the way we could bit hack this jump if zero to short jump and bypass the protection as well but let's continue the last instruction before leaving this function moves value of ecx to eax register and as you remember the calling function checks if uh, eax register equals zero then a failure message is printed anything not equal to zero means success okay but let's return to our serial checking algo offset 1315 here move instruction moves byte value pointed currently by esi to al part of eax register most probably our username if we run this in a debugger we will see what is being copied then value of cl part of the ecx register is added to al next it is xored with the resulting al value now comes the division it is a bit tricky instruction as it depends on the size of its operands here we see the smallest sizes being used bl is 8 bits so using this table we know that current value of ax is being divided by bl value and the result is stored as quotient in al and the remainder accordingly in ah part of the eax register next instruction shifts write ax register by 8 bits noticing that 16 bits ax is comprised of 8 bits ah then 8 bits of al registers it basically means that bits in ah are moved right discarding eight bits currently residing in al so we are left in al with the remainder of the previous division next the constant value of 41 hexadecimal is added to al the result is then moved to the memory pointed by edi register this again supports our assumption that edi is destination string pointer next edi and esi pointers are increased moving one byte further in the memory location they point to here we increase by one ecx register which means it is being used as a counter and finally we move back to the start of this loop copy byte from esi to do the stuff on it move the result from al to edi pointing memory until zero is read from esi and then loop exits with all this knowledge let's try to program a serial key generator i'm using visual studio and c but of course any language will do which can do bit manipulation to save you time watching me typing i will explain already written code and by the way it is possible to code key generator right inside the hue editor and if you want to know how watch the video in the link you are seeing right now so let's look at our source code the standard headers include now one note regarding the code I'm trying to stick with the disassembled code we just reversed as close as possible so the code will be hackish and ugly for example the resulting key is generated into key array done this way I don't know its size uh, beforehand as it depends on the size of the username so I pre-allocate 30 letter array to hold the key and populate it with the hex value of 245 which is a non-printable character in my console just a placeholder we will be using argv array to hold our input username next i will be using the key array to hold the resulting serial just as the crack me does with the edi register the constant value used in division we will store in the divisor variable next as you remember the crack me uses comparison of esi with zero to know the end of the string because it doesn't know the length of the username beforehand we are lucky here on the other hand in c you have str len functions that can compute the username length for us and finally our serial generating algorithm we start a loop that will run for the length of the username picking one letter at each iteration here the i variable will serve as a counter in the crack me it is ecx register that is used for this so we zero it as well here we copy a letter to the key array start working next we add the current counter i to the copied letter then we xor the result with the counter then we divide the previous value by the constant one a then just as in crack me 
we shift right the value by 8 bits and finally add 41 to it. First letter is done, we increase counter i and start again with the next letter. So let's build the key generator and, and try to use it. Let's run it with the username uris.info. Copy paste to the crack me. And voila, we just created our key generator. See you in the next Crack Me video. Subscribe to the channel to know when it gets published. Until then, ciao a tutti.